Now, women have a general idea what men think about on a daily basis, but what do they do? What do they? Uh, what about when they're climbing the corporate ladder? Author Chris Flint is here to talk about a new book. It's called What Men Don't Tell Women About Business. Hi, good morning. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks very much. You're seeing there are actually some strategies that women think will work that don't at all, like kind of having like a women's group or kind of banding together. Why wouldn't that be a good idea? Uh, I think what's been missing is a lot of the advice that women get in business are from other women on how to engage with men. And so when I started my coaching practice years ago, women would come in and say, my mentor have all told me to do this, which flew really in the face of what was going on. And so when a women's group gets together in a corporate setting, men may say, you know, we're supportive of that, it's great, but in the back room we call that a henning party. Oh, yeah. and so, a little nice. Football, not, not, not such a good idea. Well, you know what, it, it is great, <laughs> but the kicker is when men see that women are excluding themselves as groups, mm. it just kind of perpetuates, okay, women are going to do their own thing and men will do their own thing, and so that integration really isn't happening. But men really did that for years. I mean, they had their own little private meetings elsewhere. They have their what's called like the boardroom and everything. Why can't, why would they, are they threatened by that? Is it something that they feel like, what's happening? Why are they banding together? Or do they just see it as some kind of a... You well, know, a lesser role. Yeah, I think there's kind of a war going on. The old boys club that just, you yeah. know, they don't want women in the workplace at all. They're being replaced by younger alpha males who want to just get ahead. And for an alpha male, my own uh, experience, it's all about making money. And so mm -hmm. being successful in business. And so it doesn't matter to me if you're young or old, black or white, woman or man. If you're a runner, I want to run with you. Right. But when I see the old alphas that I don't want to engage with and women going off by themselves, the young alpha will start to slide into an old alpha role. And so uh, I, I think it's flying in the face of the new model of business. Okay. What about showing your feelings, your emotion about whether something goes right or something goes wrong? Yeah, like, I'm, what I'm trying to suggest is, is not to lose your integrity and your authenticity, but the kicker is men have been taught in a business setting to be two-faced. Have a private face and have a public face. Public face is what you bring to work. Private face is what you have at home or with your friends. And so when a woman starts bringing emotional pieces to work, it makes them uncomfortable because we see that as a weakness. And if we do it, we're chastised by other men. And so we just slowly move away from you. If your kid is sick, I don't care. You know, if your husband and you went on a great retreat for your honeymoon, I don't care. I want to talk about the business at hand today. That's just the way it is. Okay. Also, uh, I'm, I'm looking at this. This is really interesting. Tell us what men say when women leave the room. Well, you know, we, we often do a commentary on what women do to give up their power to us. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, like, making excuses is number one. If I'm late for a meeting, I'm going to come in and say, sorry I was late, it won't happen again. A woman may come in and say, I'm sorry I was late, My, I had an issue with childcare, and uh, had to find a new babysitter, and I, I hope it won't happen again. And all the women in the room go, that's tough. All the men in the room go, I hate breeders. Breeders, <laughs> breeders is a term men use for women who oh. have kids in the workplace. But that's a reality. Women do have a different role than men at yeah, home, absolutely. and they do bring that into the workplace, like it or not. So I, I what do you do you. with it? Yeah, but by bringing the excuse in, you open yourself up to attack. If you said, I'm sorry, it was late, it won't happen again. There's uh -huh. nothing to attack there. But as soon as you bring the family piece in, guys think you should have planned better, you should have had better family support, you should have had a backup babysitter. If you don't give that much of an excuse, they have nothing to attack. So it's interesting, I think, that rather than say that men need to change anything, which sounds like that's probably not right. likely to happen, that r really to play, a lot, play the game, that women just need to know how to react. to Really, the, the reality of the situation is what's going on around them. Well, right? you know, is that a better strategy? Yeah, you know, like men, need to, yeah, men need to adjust as well. And I think like the nice thing about the old alphas is they're, they're dying off slowly. <laughs> But they don't think anything. Super. No, but it is really because their yeah. mindset is not changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With young alphas, we're looking to partner with women, and so mm -hmm. I'm not suggesting women stop being women. Right. But understand how men engage in business, and so when you're engaging with an alpha male, understand the language that will best catch his attention and want him to partner with you. So don't become manlike. Just understand how men engage, which I don't think has been put out there before. You talk about, um, you know, handling your, your situation and keeping it at home or keeping it in the workplace. But you say uh, the correct way to handle maternal leave is the cor correct way? Yeah, absolutely. Like when a woman decides to get pregnant and start a family, and I think we're in an age now where women don't have to decide. And the old preconception is you have to be a mother or you have to be a professional woman. A woman can have both, but with a plan. But what the hiccup in the past has been, from an alpha male point of view, is a woman will come into my office and say, I'm pregnant, I'm going to be leaving in seven months, mm -hmm. I'm going to be gone for a year. And so I might smile and go, congratulations, and I'm thinking, like, it sucks. That sucks. I have to find somebody to come and replace her for a year, hopefully on contract, and then I have to hope at the end of the year that she comes back. And so it creates more work for me, and so you being a resource to me now becomes a liability. Women that have more success in that balance will come in and say, here's the situation, I'm pregnant, I'm going to be leaving on this date. Here are all the steps I'm going to implement before I leave, including helping to find my replacement and getting them trained up so that you don't feel any of the repercussions of me leaving. Are you okay with that? Now, when a man hears that, they go, 
Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Let me know what I can do to help because I haven't picked up your suitcase. You've just acknowledged that somebody else will, and you're going to take responsibility, not me. Oh, and there's a great uh, conference coming up tomorrow, the Professional Business Women's Conference from 7 in the morning until 5.30 p.m. at the Sacramento Convention Center. Are you doing one of the workshops? I, I you know it in the morning and then the full session in the afternoon on the topic. Oh, fantastic. And it's not too late to register if you want. This is a really great conference. Uh, it's at the Sacramento Convention Center. Register online at either or at 408-554-4249. And you can find the website to the Professional Business Women's Conference by going to the links page on cw31.com. Scroll down, look for Good Day Links. Tina is emceeing the morning session. Yeah, I'm I'm emceeing the evening, the, the, after, the yeah, lunch Tina. session. Sorry, too nice to be here. Great. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chris Black. Give him a big hug. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> This is really a great. Tina and I have been doing this conference for three wow. years, and it's a great, great. You get such great information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for your